Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Lisa from Smooch's Makeup Artistry. I know it has been almost three weeks since I have actually posted a YouTube video. Please forgive me guys. I have been extremely busy, a lot of stuff going on, um, but I'm going to bombard you guys now with some catch-up videos. Um, this is a video of my favorite look for the fall. My favorite lip basically consists of a dark cranberry slash burgundy-ish lip. I have um, even gone darker, but I find like this is, you know, pretty cool for me. I am by no means afraid of color, so I am willing to try all different type of lip, types of lips. But this is one of my favorite right here. And I'm going to show you how to create this look. It's very simple, very, you know, almost natural as far as the eyes. Um, I played up my lashes a little bit, uh, if you can see. And uh, just a lipstick. My lips, y'all, they have been neglected. It's getting, like I said, the season is changing slowly but surely. Please take care of your lips. You cannot rock a lipstick with crispy, craspy, crusty lips. I crispy, crusty, crappy, cracked lips do not work. And I'm having a moment now. So, hopefully you can't see it. But, um, yeah. So, if you want to see how I created this look, check it out. Stay tuned. Alright guys, started with my brows already done and I am now applying Painterly Paint Pot to my lids as a base. That is by MAC and as usual that is just going to serve as a base for my shadows to help them adhere and to last longer without creasing. I'm going into my Lorac Pro Palette and I'm taking out the color taupe and I'm just going to apply that all over my lids. I'm going for a very neutral eye look because I'm going to have such a bold lip and I just wanted to pair it with a neutral eye for today. Now I'm going to go in with this darker brown. Um, I'm not exactly sure of the name and I don't have the palette with me right now so what I'm going to do is make sure that everything is listed below so please check the description box. Right there I am just blending everything in and I'm going to my Too Faced palette and I'm picking this color and that I believe that's called Cherry Cola and I'm just applying that directly on my crease as well um, which is what I did with the darker brown and now I'm going to blend that out going back into that same palette and I'm picking up that goldish orange color and I'm just using that to add a little shimmer and um, gold to the eyelid you are more than welcome to use whatever eyeshadows you have. You never have to use the same brands that I have. It's just me showing you what I'm using and then, you know, you make your own decision. Right there I'm doing a very small line um, on my upper lid and that is the NYX um, gel liner. I don't even know what that's called. That is by NYX. <laughs> and that's the gel eyeliner and I believe it's... um and charcoal gray. I'm going to my waterline now with MAC pencil. It's a cold pencil and the color is feline. My favorite. And I'm using MAC Zoom Water Fast Last. Um, and I'm just applying the mascara to my natural lashes top and bottom very light on the bottom and you want to make sure that you don't have too much on your wands when you're doing the bottom otherwise you'll end up with a mess and I really should have done my concealer before I did the mascara underneath but it's done now so um, right there I'm just applying just a little bit to serve as a highlight and a concealer right underneath my eyelids I'm just setting it with a translucent powder and now I'm on to foundation which is my MAC Studio Fix. And normally that's just about five little pumps. And I'm just going to apply that all over my face in a circular motion which will give it more of like an airbrushed appearance or an effect. So I'm making sure that I cover all areas. Again, 
Um, picking foundation, it's a tricky situation. As you all can see, my neck is a whole lot darker than my face. Um, but my chest and my hands and all everything else matches my face. So I go with that because if I went darker, I'd look ridiculous. Now onto the lip, I'm using OCC Lip Tar and that color is vintage. And you really only need a little drop. Um, I'm going to just apply that all over my lid. Now if you wanted this look to be a little darker, you can apply a darker lip liner um, or you can mix it with a different lip tar. But for me, I'm just going to go ahead and just, I mix it with the Beat Lip Liner from MAC. I'm out of time. I don't know what happened. It died on me.